Divine Mercy Message for October 22nd, 2022. St. Faustina Struggles to Pray. October 11th, 1933. I tried to make a holy hour, but began it with great difficulty. A certain yearning started to tear at my heart. My mind was dimmed so that I could not understand the simplest forms of prayer and so passed by an hour of prayer, or rather of struggle. I resolved to pray for a second hour, but my inner sufferings increased, great dryness and discouragement. I resolved to pray for a third hour. In the third hour, which I resolved to spend kneeling without any support, my body started the clamor for rest, but I in no way relented. I stretched out my arms, and though I spoke no words, I persisted by sheer will. After a while, I took the ring off my finger and asked Jesus to look at the ring, that sign of our eternal union, and I offered Jesus the feelings I had on the day of perpetual vows. After a while, I feel my heart inundated with a wave of love, a sudden recollection of spirit, the senses quiet down, and God's presence pervades my soul. I know only this, that it is Jesus and I. I saw him just as he had appeared to me in that instant after my perpetual vows, when I was likewise making a holy hour, Jesus was suddenly standing before me, stripped of his clothes, his body completely covered with wounds, his eyes flooded with tears and blood, his face disfigured and covered with spittle. The Lord then said to me, The bride must resemble her betrothed. I understood these words to their very depth. There is no room for doubt here. My likeness to Jesus must be through suffering and humility. See what love of human souls has done to me. My daughter, in your heart, I find everything that so great a number of souls refuses me. Your heart is my repose. I often wait with great grace until towards the end of prayer. From the Diary of St. Faustina, number 148. For more stories, please visit our website, www.pamphletstoinspire.com. Jesus, I trust in you.